See, this is the moment to be free to talk about what are you sitting with, what's in your back of your mind, and uh, so that we are aligned in our own realities. The last few frames, which uh, Doran explained, had a wonderful uh, scope for us to share. I felt, especially all of us are from such uh, this group being such a nice heterogeneous group. If we can share our insights and uh, you know questions or whatever insights also i think that will up the energy it might elevate the energy and moderation of course you are there to find, to moderate the discussions this okay. is uh, my humble opinion okay good so i will maybe personally ask questions like maybe karthik uh, are you feeling comfortable from the morning do you get what you want from here okay and maybe, Chris, you had some questions in the gap. See, uh, what what I am saying is, you know, uh, to be kind of very, because uh, I, I have a lot of uh, empathy for Bird, for you, in, in the time, the fact that you're dealing with a foreign culture at the end of the day. See, for me, the value is, you know, uh, what Ethan has been talking about when we go for our walks. He talks about what you said, what you spoke about this particular context. Can we have the second so, microphone? Where is it? So for me, what I'm saying is from what I've heard from Ethan, and he's spoken so much about you, what I'm looking for is where, where your flow and where your genius is in terms of the solutions and the work and so on and so forth. While I appreciate the PowerPoints, I, I'm kind of wondering if the PowerPoints is something that Ethan can read out fast and you can do the meta commentary about it. So that, uh, you know, A, it connects, and it, it, it's, it's a little easier for us to follow that. and. When the meta commentary comes, it's, it's, it's taken as a great valuable contribution at the end of the day. And the third is like, uh, I have, this is my kind of sense, you know, that this is kind of valuable time and I personally invested my own money. I mean, there are others who come from organization, the others who put their own money. So for me, I'm like, you know, I want something really solid to take back. So, and I want to go to the next uh, question, which is that, you see, we are right now, facing with our major industries in India, we are going through a recession at this point of time. Now, if for me to go and talk to my client, the first question they talk about is let's discuss profitability and let's discuss what we can do to bring profitability. I struggle with the concept, even though I have a, a what do you say, respect of my client, I struggle with the concept of whether my client is going to be open to the idea of creating a learned culture, learning culture within the organization. Because he's, he's more interested about surviving and making sure there's enough cash flow to keep the company running per se. Such. Although I am wondering that, yeah, in a learning culture it can be done. So, but it's just the, the questions that I'm grappling with at this point of time. Okay, so I'll take this question. Uh, at this moment, uh, I will hear to a few more people and certainly in another 10 minutes or something I will come back to your question. And after I answer, maybe Bern also can add his perspective to that. Uh, maybe people from Hudson, you are around eight of you here. Are you comfortable? Are you clear about what's happening here? I think to what Bern wants to tell us from this point of view, I think that's, that's where he's coming from. So I don't want to tell you what he's trying to say to us. So I want to take that first hint. Okay. And then probably build on it and then come back to you with our preparation. Okay, so you're okay with what's happening? I want to take a call this. This is the first day. No, no, we are not talking about what needs to be done. We are talking about, are we all in the same plane? Like for example, if you are building a reality, the first level of reality is data. Are we aligned in the data level? Like what we think we are offering you and what you expect are the same, this is one. 
The second is the meaning construction. Okay, we are giving the same, but is it interesting to you? Because we think it's interesting, but whether it is interesting to you, or do you think it is applicable to you? That is another level of reality which we need to align. Then how you are going to do that? That comes to the third level. So I understand what you are saying is, you would like to take some more information from Bern and then see how you could do that. So this is one area, like everyone have their own learning styles and you are perfectly okay with that, right? Okay, so you had a question in the morning and then you did ask further questions. So I was wondering, is there anything you have, uh, particularly as educationalist here, you have any questions or thoughts are you are you getting what you want? Send do you have any questions? So So the different people their own predictions they are saying. So whenever a seminar is going on, a common goal should be achieved for everybody. I think that is somewhat like. Okay. So what do you think you can do? from your side to attain a common goal? Uh, education point of view, how the students may be treated, the slow learners, how to develop them, and uh, exam point of view. Because uh, our we, we can understand that the teachers, uh, we won't listen to this. <laughs> it's naturally, there is a habit is there. Uh, we, we ask the students to listen us, but uh, we are not uh, the good listeners. Most of the time it was happens like that. <coughs> but now we are ready to accept that. But even though we need some more points related to the educational field. Okay, see, uh, maybe there is a mismatch in the expectations. Yeah. Okay. What is, whatever is going on as a presentation, it is very nice. So, but we are in need of uh, how it will be applicable to a manager, industrialist, how it will be applicable to a marketing manager, how it will be applicable to a principal or someone else, man, as a manager or as a, or as a leader. Yeah. So how to differentiate it, how we have to apply that one. So if we differentiate that one, it will be very easy for us. So that is what we are expecting as. Or suggestion either, uh, which is what I'm going through. So as uh, you're bringing out uh, the ideas and uh, on, on dialogue, actually what's going on in my head is uh, I'm already going back and reflecting on various situations where new possibilities are opening up for me. I could have tried this approach, I could have tried this, here was another option. Uh, that's already opening, opening up for me. And uh, when a new situation like that comes up, I'm quite sure that uh, I'm going to be trying out new things and I'm not going to be acting in the same way that I did before. And uh, that is quite, that's learning for me. I don't, I don't expect more, uh, more change than that. And that's happening for me. I don't know why, um, um, but, it's, but it's happening. So at some level, it's working. The approach is working. Uh, the, um, um, basically, that's it. <laughs> See, at this moment we are experiencing a dilemma. Like, uh, like let's. Uh, uh, Gitan sir, uh, one second. For us to use this time and sir. understand the sir. concept, Gitan, sir, we may not have ready solutions to each and every type of problem that we have in a diverse in diverse organizations from where we are coming. So I think it is best to understand the scenarios and examples and uh, concepts and uh, precepts that he's teaching us or he's sharing with us. And then try to see, go back and see when we are confronted with situations, how we apply them. I don't know whether they can be very specific and tailored answers to questions. Because people being people, everybody is different, situations are going to be different. But if we understand the trends, the concepts, and try to use it, that will fit our organization. So I, I don't know whether, so I think we should allow uh, uh, him to go ahead with his presentation and continue with the stream that he has in mind. See, the, the reason we are putting forth this question is, uh, if I observe from the back and see the audience, I see, as Sefra said, a low energy. Most of them are with their mobile phones and not connected with 
what's happening here. So either we have to do something about it, or you need to come out with some, some connectivity, and then everything is fine. But if we talk about it too late, then we won't have time to adjust it. So I also see some of them have left the uh, class. So which means they are not satisfied in some way. So unless we address it, the next two days uh, can be a difficulty. So it's better that we align together in some way so that the next two days can be. Yeah. See, I feel that the afternoon session uh, uh, is very much uh, organized and uh, very refreshing. And I think at this pace, if we go, it will work very well for the next two days. And I wish, like as Mr. He mentioned, that uh, we can have, you can give us some exercises where we can uh, discuss in the group, come up with solution, where you can be a moderator. So thereby making the class more active. And you make, see, active learning, making us, taking uh, our responsibilities for our own learning, that way you can uh, adopt and make the class more interesting is what I feel. But I'm really happy with the principles and the approach the afternoon dialoguing session. I have learned a lot. I have visited more than 10 areas I've learned a lot. So in the dialoguing? Yes, yes. But a different strategy, a group discussions. We are, we are from different areas. We have different opportunities, challenges, threats, Everything it is different. So I feel that we cannot have common goals. Am I right, sir? We cannot. Yeah, we may not have common we goals. We may not. But we can somehow try to share some part of the goal and not the complete part of the goal. Of some course. part of the goal can be shared. But still, I would like to get some points on interpersonal relationship and intrapersonal relationship. As leaders, it is common for everyone. So how to how, how is it you are going to throw some light on these things? Interpersonal and intrapersonal. Well, since morning when I was, I'm sitting here and observing as a participant and also <coughs> experience my, and asking myself what is it my experience has been, especially ever since you noted this idea of wanting to know what's happening in the audience. Uh, in continuation of what is said in the morning, in some sense, reflecting what you said and also what Kumar uh, shared, I was reminded of this uh, saying by, uh, I don't know exact words, but it says something like, the problems that we have created at this level of thinking cannot be solved at the same level of thinking. We need to think at a different level in order to solve the problems that we create at the current level. So, for me, this workshop and whatever you are presenting, is inviting me to think at a different paradigm. Because to me, we are not talking about how do I do whatever I'm doing in a better manner. I, to, for me, that this workshop is not about that. For me, it is inviting me to totally think in a different paradigm of how I approach working with groups, how I approach working with organizations, how I approach looking at my own self. To use the metaphor of the swan, I think many of the times the questions that are coming from the floor or the expectation from the floor is what do I do as the first swan? Whereas what has been happening in terms of the offering is more what the third swan is doing from a meta perspective. So as a fellow participant, my question would be of course as an organizer you would like to balance the needs of different audiences would be to uh, capitalize on the resource that is available and then shall we challenge ourselves to think one notch different, I wouldn't even say higher even I'm tempted to say that, to think different from what we normally used to do because we are used to generalizing because normally that is how in organizations when we approach, we want quick fixes, we want bullet points, we want consultant to say if you do this you will get that. And you know, if you have this problem, then I have this magic wand. So instead, shall we take the risk of challenging ourselves to think at a different point and say, can I grapple with this uncertainty and the seeming chaos that is that I'm experiencing right now and expect some order and some clarity to emerge in myself, not in terms of exact solutions to the questions that I have, but more in terms of a new way of thinking 
at my own problem. So that is what I am sitting with. with you know, so my uh, invitation would also be to opening ourselves to what is being offered and see if I could extend myself. Can I stretch myself? Because change takes place beyond our grasp. We are trying to grapple with things within our grasp. So shall I use this as an opportunity to stretch myself beyond my grasp, to think in a manner that probably I never thought so far about the issues that I am facing. So that is what I would like to throw open for all of us to ask. We may not understand everything that being said, but am I okay to sit with this and find my own meaning, even if it is one insight that could make a whole lot of difference for me. Uh, an idea which came to me based on your reaction is, and certainly Bern is a resource person who has come here and we should end cash on that. So maybe he gives a concept first, maybe he gives a concept and then maybe we give a space for to discuss in group where we can apply this concept in our own context and then have some consolidation and then come back maybe share some few insights and then again Bern gives one more concept and then we take that to our context and then see it may be an educational setting, it can be a, a entrepreneurial setting, it can be a leadership setting, we have to see certain context how we could apply and then share our insights. So it's like information, uh, sharing experience, integrating, getting insight, then going to the next part so we cycle the process. Uh, at this moment, is that is that what? Yes. Will that make sense for? Yeah. 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 I will just answer to yeah, him, yeah. and then you for your time. Yeah. 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 I think it's time to close. But I thought uh, I think we will do that way. A concept. Time to discuss, integrate. If questions arise, ask burn questions, and then we go to the next concept. So there is a consolidation between one level of concept, another concept, another concept. Okay. Okay. Now your question is: Okay, I go to an organization and they say about profit, and people who are already working in a profitable way, they are not going to invite consultants, and people who are having difficulties with profit are inviting, and they are not willing to hear about learning culture because they say, "What is the profit?" I want to because it's not matching in their frame of reference. One thing is when you go as a consultant, I'm just stimulating certain learning so that it can be direct. Uh, when we go as a consultant, okay, that is a profit they want and that's fine. We don't talk about the learning culture. You introduce the culture, but you don't talk about it. Like the first step will be, okay, what does profit mean to them? And who are all the people in the organization who can influence this profit? How we can bring them together? What are the events in the organization which shows that it is going in a profitable way? And what are the events in the organization which shows that it is not in the expected direction? And what they are doing when it is going well and what they are not doing when it is not going well. So it is clarified among them. And that clarifying is a learning culture. And that learning culture will lead to a byproduct of a profit. We are talking about profit, but it's they doing that together in the steps. So whatever the concepts he is talking about can be applied when you are setting a kind of a situation. Like for example, matching realities. The attitudes which we need to have for dialoguing in the process. How to think in a systemic way, though they say it's a profit, but there is a systemic connection. It's not just one person doing that. So all these things are the steps. But it's still in reality that you might not find open also. Yes, for that. <clears throat> and I do not expect to have solutions for, for everybody in all situations. And uh, somehow it's, it's one of the <clears throat> problems into which consultants run, they think, and even entrepreneurs, if they have problems, they think they should solve the most problematic part first. 
and work with those who are less, least motivated uh, uh, in order to find out whether the solution is appropriate for them. And uh, in TA, uh, there was a concept, uh, I do not refer to it now, but the, if you want to go directly to such a solution, this is a trap. Uh, it will, you will not, uh, you cannot come to this solution. But this is uh, how, how, maybe we will have time to talk about dilemmata. So I have a con developed a concept on dilemmata. And desperation is the emotion that indicates you that you're trying something that is not solvable at that point. And it's a professional competence to despair in time because Within the frame of reference you have, you can. There's no chance for a solution. And the more you learn to despair in time, the more you have chances uh, to keep the damage low. And if I have understanding for an entrepreneur who feels like I, first I have to make something safe, otherwise, of the Titanic, you would not be much be interested in learning culture when you see the iceberg. But if you have had a better learning culture, those who have seen the iceberg in time would have told you, but they didn't, because they didn't feel responsible. So, but we, 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 have, uh, we have to be humble on that. We have only a very small influence. But, and, uh, and it's better to set up projects where there's a really chance that we can learn together to do something better for the culture, for the future developments. And it's not a fire, fireman's uh, activity to build up culture. So it's always, it needs a conducive environment to build a culture. So during the crisis, that's not the, that's not the space. But if the entrepreneur is willing to change the frame of reference, to do something different, at least the future can be different. But is culture change usually a top-down kind of approach? Or? All, all levels, but it has to start from the top. Bern always said culture development process is the responsibility of the CEO. Okay, so you want to do a kind of? I thought so this will be a relaxation for all of us, all of us when uh, we do not reach some on a content uh, on, on. We have another uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So I, is that okay we just jump into a... We have 10 minutes and then maybe 10 minutes for them to leave or something. Oh, okay. So all together 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Okay. So this is something to feel good if you want. And it even might give you some insights from your unconscious level you didn't consider so far. And because you did so wonderfully this morning, you are organism still knows how to get into this attitude and this trance and I don't know whether you are already connected to the leading tone of my voice but you might recognize it by the impulse to sit comfortably you might recognize it by some changes in your breathing pattern and you might recognize it from that your eyes get somewhat heavy and you long for just closing them and not being goal oriented not having to adapt to some uh, orientation I have to I give you you can just feel free and if you one part in yourself wants to adopt something of what I'm seeing, you're welcome to use it. But if not, if you just do something that is good for you now, and just follow your own impulses, this is fine too. And probably both somehow come together. The impulses you get from outside, and the impulses that wake up internally. Some people sit at a, at a fireplace, for example, and look at the flames to 
finds this kind of attention. As if to some meditation, or even allowing the warm flavored water of the bathtub. And I, f I feel some of the tension of the day, of the resolved of the day in myself and this part of life. I do not like it, but I accept it. And when you somehow look back to what you met this day, your unconscious may choose what feelings, what kind of words, what inner images come up. You may even connect the one or other insight or idea you met here today with very practical situations of your professional life. For example, when you saw this long conversation going on and the attitudes with which these two people tried somehow to make something good again. And how it's difficult sometimes and very limited from what you can expect at the first and maybe there are some entangled ropes and lines in your life too and you know situations like this if it looks like as if you cannot solve it with the way you are trying to solve it right now, you might feel some desperation. It might be my own. I felt some desperation today. I don't like it, but it indicates to me that we have somehow to develop our frame of reference. Maybe some people who are important for you in your world come to your mind. Important to share somehow or what you are dealing with today. You might even dream this mind. Because the unconscious mind sometimes understands something and develops something further. Well, your conscious mind still is bound to habits of learning and frame of references. We cannot make everything new. But if there will be some impulses, I remember myself 25 years ago sitting in a workshop with a brain researcher, Carl Brebren, and the Chilean biosociologist Francesco Varela. And they discount about new models of understanding the brain. But the whole day long, and they talked about the chemicals of the brain and philosophical ideas about how you could look at the brain and it's the relationship between spirit and brain and all these things and with my conscious mind I almost didn't understand anything but my conscious mind was fascinating I knew something 
more developing something new will come out of it. It took some time afterwards, but it was true. A lot of new perspectives came up to my mind. And interestingly enough, I sometimes watched myself already doing something different what I did not plan. My conscious mind took over ideas and did something besides these ideas. And my conscious mind uh, only could play the role of an observer and supervisor. This was a total un different understanding of learning than I knew so far. But this is my own history. I don't know whether you can take something out of that for your history and your attitude. Surprisingly enough, sometimes the next day, without knowing how that works, things are totally different. As if there were a lot of cultural results from the day before also, they didn't show up. So maybe we will be surprised. And now it's time to come back slowly that you stay in contact with the experience during the guided imagery. And then look around when you are back and have opened your eyes. And sit together with two others for five minutes, seven minutes, just to share a bit. And then we leave without any first say goodbye and meet together tomorrow at 9 o'clock. And I thank you for being so patient with us. Now find your partners. <laughs> <laughs>